This is Todd Jackson again, board certified ophthalmologist. Um, I just want to go over with you the risks, benefits, and alternatives to the surgery of cataracts. Um, so let's go over what a cataract is. Cornea, sclera, optic nerve, sclera and optic nerve, cornea, iris, ciliary body, retina and optic nerve, iris, ciliary body, retina and optic nerve, and then an intraocular lens, which is behind the iris. When that becomes pacified, that's called cataract. So cataract surgery in general is, according to the American Academy of Ophthalmology, is about a 21 minute procedure. Now depending on your surgeon, it can be anywhere from four minutes to 12 minutes, up to 21 minutes or more, depending on their technique um, and their comfort level. <clears throat> the risk of cataract surgery, it is the most successful of all surgeries in medicine. However, it does have risks. There's about a one in a million chance of um, losing the eye completely. There's anywhere between one to three per 10,000 risk of a serious infection that can lead to permanent vision loss. 97% of cataract surgeries go without complications. Of the 3% that can have complications, if those complications are dealt with appropriately, the vast majority of those individuals will have great vision. It just takes, it might take just a little bit longer or a couple other procedures that may be involved. Um, some of those, those 3%, there can be retinal attachments, retinal tear, swelling in the eye, high pressure in the eye, low pressure in the eye, inflammation in the eye, bleeding behind the eye, within the eye, around the eye, stroke to the optic nerve, damage to the eyelids because of the speculum, or the need for further procedures in the future. But in general, cataract surgery goes very well. Now many people ask me, well, can you guarantee me that I'm going to have great vision? Well, that depends. One is, what's the pathology of the eye? Number two is, 80% of individuals are going to get, at least in, in my practice, are going to get 20-40 vision or better. Well, then the question becomes, well, what about the 20% of people? And how do I know whether I'm going to be in the 80 or in the 20? So this difference here is when you come in for cataract surgery, your doctor's going to take all kinds of measurements. They're going to measure the axial length, the corneal power, where the, the lens be they believe is going to be. The kicker is what's called the effective lens position, right? So we plan, we want everyone, we want 100% to have 20-40 or better vision. But we put this intraocular lens into that bag. Now you can see that that bag is bigger than the lens, right? Well, as the bag, if you ask yourself, how does the lens stay in the eye? Well, it's placed within the natural bag in over 90% of the cases. Sometimes it can be placed in the sulcus or the anterior chamber, but the vast majority is inside of the capsular bag. And what happens, you can see that lens is nice and thin. As that capsule fibrosis down onto that lens, that lens can shift slightly forward or slightly back. And that one millimeter or so of shift is what can cause you to be either in the 80% or the 20%. And we really don't have a good predictive model of whether you're going to be in the 80 or you're going to be in the 20. Now the good news is, is if you end up in the 20% of individuals whose vision is blurry even after cataract surgery, go into your eye care professional. Don't be upset at them. It happens. If, if it's slightly forward, slightly back, that can be fixed with glasses, contact lenses, a laser touch-up afterwards. Also, there can be what's called a secondary cataract when this capsule becomes opacified. Very common. And that's, there's another video on that. That's taken care of utilizing a, what's called an ND YAG capsulotomy about three months after the surgery if it's vision significant. And then your vision is restored. So, we went over risks, benefits, and alternatives. The benefit of doing cataract surgery is be able to see better. The alternative is to do nothing. 99.9% .9 of the time, cataract surgery is an elective surgery. You should almost never feel pushed into cataract surgery. Um, it, it is an elective procedure, but it's to help restore your vision so that you can see better, brighter, safer, um, and uh, continue to enjoy the world around you. To see again is to live again. And uh, thank you for your time.